Well, howdy, y'all. It's your buddy, the Texan Detector. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, I've had an interesting day. I've not had uh, plumbers at the house. I've been uh, busy. I've been running around doing this and that. Um, it's already 1 o'clock and uh, like 90-something degrees outside. But it's not raining. It's been raining for like the, the last three weeks straight. So, uh, yeah, it's 100% humidity and 90 degrees. But, hey. Your boy, the Texan detector, he's on crazy SOB and he's gonna do some metal detecting today. And I'm taking you along with me. So uh, you might wanna uh, pack your bags, grab your metal detector, grab your, uh, grab your fan, grab you some ice water. Cause we're gonna go sweat our gajones off and dig up what we can find. <laughs> I went back to where I, uh, if you watched the video where I uh, tried out my, uh, my Simplex headphones, same place, same place I found my very first ever silver dime. Um, I was actually had pretty good luck here for the little bit of time I had that day to detect. I actually passed over quite a few signals. Uh, one, because uh, I only had a couple hours, uh, like an hour and a half to detect. And uh, two, because, uh, well, let's just say I had to pass over a few targets. Anyway, well, I'm back. I'm ready to attack. And we're going to see what we can bring back in our sack. So uh, let's get ready. Let's go dig some holes. And let's have some fun. Well, y'all, can y'all see it? It's the first target of the day. I didn't even need my shovel. <laughs> Started off with a dime, a demi. 10 times better than a penny. That's why I normally start off with, maybe this is gonna be a good day. All right, well, let's keep on, keep on, and let's see what else we can find. I wish you'd focus, that's a little better. Well, I wasn't expecting this that far away from the lake. It was a fishing sinker, but I broke the little shank off. Hey, got me some gray matter, I'll take it. Let's keep on, keep it on, see if we else we can find. I'm gonna hunt around this old basketball goal, uh, mainly because I'm in the shade. <laughs> and then we'll keep on, keeping on by the lake. Well, found me an old beaver tail. Maybe that's a sign I need to hit closer to this sidewalk because uh, they put off a good signal. It's hard not to dig them. All right, well, let's keep on keeping on and let's see if we can find us some goodies. Well, after dealing with the parking area and nothing but trash, I decided to move up closer to the basketball goal and I got my second coin. All right, I've only been out here a couple minutes, but I'm already sweating. <laughs> I don't know how long this hunt's gonna be, so uh, enjoy it while it lasts. All right, let's keep on, keep it on, and uh, we'll see if we can find a few more targets before we uh, melt, like the snowman. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. All right, I found me uh, two more pennies right here. If you look, there's these little rocks people sit on when they're playing, waiting for a game of basketball. Found me a couple more pennies. Let's keep on, keep it on, see if we can find something else. All right. Well, I've always said on the basketball goal is a good place to hunt. It's also a good uh, place for uh, acoustics. Hello! <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. Sounds pretty cool for me. Uh, yeah, I found this dime right under the goal. Uh, I'm going to hunt around this little area. Then I'm going to go down towards the lake. I'm going to bear the direct sunlight as long as I can. And then I'm either going to go hunt. I'm either going to go, I don't know if you can see, but over there. Come on, focus for me, baby. But uh, over there, if you can see, there's a bunch of shade. There's uh, some walking trails and whatnot over there. I found some pretty neat stuff over there. 
I might head over there or I might call it a short hunt today because I am melting. I mean, it's hot. It must be 95, 98 degrees with 100% humidity. I was hoping these little clouds would save me, but they're not. They're just laughing in my face and letting the sun come through the holes. <laughs> All right, let's keep on detecting it. Let's see if we can find y'all. Woohoo! Got me another dime. It's the day of the dimes. They're everywhere. I hope they're everywhere anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, I think my pinpointer battery just died. Considering I haven't changed the battery in it since the video I went to Panama City Beach, Florida. Probably a little bit before that. <laughs> it's done a hell of a job. But uh, let me go run back to the truck, get a new battery for my pinpointer, and we'll keep on keeping on. So I just got the best signal of the day. Now I'm sure y'all can hear me because the acoustics under this basketball arena is amazing. So, listen to that, I got brand new batteries. Y'all probably hear that a lot better than me because I got my headphones on still. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the signal is right about there. Try not to tear up the ground too much. Oh, well, maybe I was a little off. Hey, let me take my headphones on so I can hear the pinpointer and y'all. <laughs> Should be right there. So if I do this right here, I should flip out a quarter. Where you at, baby? Well. Uh-oh. There we go. I knew it was there. I just pushed it up a little bit when I dug. Hey, the first quarter of the hunts. Dun, 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 dun. Now all I need to do is find... I cannot see if that's focused or not but anyway uh all now all i need to do is find a nickel and a piece of jewelry and i will fill what i call the park board i need to make a park board and that's what i detect mostly you know so i could fill it and feel accomplished <laughs> all right well anyway let's keep on keeping on because i ain't gonna find that nickel and that uh piece of jewelry sitting here so let's go dig some more holes find some more treasures have some more fun sweat some more uh gahonis off because it is hot <laughs> all right on to the next one well i gotta be nuts to be detecting in all this heat i don't know if you can see all that sweat glistening up off my arm but <laughs> it's hot but man, I, it's been so long since I've seen the sun. I don't care. Let me sweat. Let me uh, get a sun burn. Let me get a sun tan. I don't care. I'm going to go dig some targets. And I said I was nuts. Well, here is the nuts. <laughs> All right, let's keep on keeping on, y'all. I'm going to keep on as long as I can. I do see an area of shade that I haven't hit. I might go wander over there just because it's so hot. But let's keep on keeping on, see if we can find some more goodies, y'all. Well, y'all, I got another hot tone. It sounds... I hope y'all can hear that. I got the headphones off my ears, so hopefully the camera will pick that up. But that's just a delicious sounding 90 on the Simplex. Now, I'm assuming that's going to be a quarter or a piece of silver, like a silver ring or something, but probably a quarter. Unfortunately, when I popped the plug, it only rung up 86, but that could have put the quarter on edge and that might be... Well, maybe I haven't dug deep enough yet. Let's see if I pulled it out just then. No? 
almost just a little shallower than I thought, huh? There we go. Hey, it is a quarter. It's just a stage quarter. Nothing special. But man, that was a pretty sounding 90, especially through these Simplex headphones. I hear a, lot, a few people talking about they have a low volume through their headphones. Uh, my first uh, suggestion is to check and make sure, because on the actual detector, there is a adjustment for the headphones. So uh, you may want to check that and make sure. Personally, the preset was fine for me, but I got the ears of an eagle. Like, I don't know if that's even a saying, but um, I hear really well. So these headphones are amazing, and I haven't even turned them up. And there's like three more notches you could turn them up. So for anybody having a problem with their headphones, make sure you check your detector and see if you have it on the proper setting. All right, let's keep on keeping on. I'm about to melt. I got to keep moving in the wind. All right, on to the next one. Well, the next target, I got me a Memorial Penny. Yes, sir. I don't think it's a copper one. It feels like a zinc in. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to throw it in the pouch and keep on keep it on. But hey, I'm still finding targets. I'm still sweating my gajones off. And I'm still trying to find some treasure. So let's keep on keeping on, y'all. Well, I did not expect to find a golf ball next to the baseball field. But hey, it is what it is. And I do have a target right next to it. Honestly, I think it's trash. It's around a 32. But I like golf balls. And it's right next to one. And I wanted to put the golf ball on the oops, I wanted to put the golf ball on the video today so when there was a target next to it what well, a good sign is it's still a 35 it is not in the plug you know, unfortunately Okay, looks like I slightly missed it. That's okay. I got my trusty White's Dig Master right here to do a little. Uh oh. Well, it does appear. Oh. Womp, 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 womp. I even knew it wasn't going to be anything good. And then I pulled out something around. I was like, oh, maybe it's some type of little token. I did find a token out here the other day, but no. It's the, the ultimate dream squash or one of these, uh, what do you call them, uh, grommets for a tarp. Unfortunately, when you're next to a baseball fence where they put a bunch of signs up, a bunch of tarp signs that need grommets, you're going to find a lot of these. Well, I did uh, find a golf ball, so I'm happy about that. Let's keep on, keep it on. It is amazingly hot out here. I wish y'all could feel it, because then y'all would really feel for me. <laughs> but I ain't crying, I ain't complaining. I'm going to keep on, keep it on for, I don't know, five more minutes. No, <laughs> not at least another hour. Let's keep on, keep it on. Let's go. One more penny in the pocket. Uh, I'm a quick uh, filming pennies now, unless it's something special, because uh, I'm trying to keep on keeping on and make this uh, hunt short and sweet. And the more I stop and videotape, the longer it's going to be and the shorter the hunt's going to be. So let's keep on, y'all. Let's go find them goodies. Let's go find some silver. Well, that's definitely different. Somebody using two worm sinkers to uh, make a regular sinker, uh, tie them together. I mean, hey, southern ingenuity at its greatest, but I don't see why you need a bigger weight when your lake's like this and there's no current and there's no wind and there's no waves and there's, it's just a little pond, man. It ain't gonna float away. <laughs> All right, but hey, I thought that was kind of cool. I'll put it in my pocket. Let's keep on keeping on. Well, I made it back from the hunt, 
had a lot of fun. Been a while since I got out to do a little detecting. Didn't go out and find no gold or no silver, but I did find some coins. Have a lot of fun, and uh, about to show you what I came home with. All right, uh, I'll just pull these to the side because they were kind of interesting here. This one here is a 1976 penny, which is a little older, and that one's a 1968. I did find, I don't know why I got them all mixed up here. Here we go. I did find 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pennies. I did find 5, 6, 7 uh, dimes. I found six quarters. And the star find of today's show. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's just a green old penny. Oh, yeah, I did find a golf ball. That was kind of neat. I always like finding golf balls. But the star find of today's show definitely got to be this 1945 wheat penny. I did not expect to find a wheat penny today, but there we go. Um, it was so dirty. It was uh, down there by that lake. Then I just threw it in the pouch. I'd already filmed a couple pennies. Didn't want to film anymore. Uh, kind of wish I would have got that one on camera. I guess I would have if I'd have realized it was a wheat penny. Well, y'all, that was my hunt today. I hope y'all had a little fun along with me. Uh, hopefully, later this week, I'm going to go down either. I haven't decided if I'm going to go to the beach or if I'm going to go to one of my local parks that I haven't been to in a while. Uh, for the 4th of July weekend, they had like a two-day blast down there. Had a bunch of live music, people partying, drinking, eating barbecue, all kinds of good stuff. Too bad I had to work. I would have been there. But who knows? They may have left something for your buddy, the Texan Detector. Well, anyway, until next time, it's your buddy, the Texan Detector. Happy hunting and stay dirty, my friends. Because if you ain't getting dirty, you ain't having no fun. And we can't have that now, can we? All right. Until the next time.